Good morning, guys. I'm so excited to show you this. Last night, um, I put in the dishwasher. I got some new coffee cups and things um, from TJ Maxx. So let's show you. So this is number one. How cute is that? Stars, moons with like a holographic color to it. Got this one uh, in honor of Valentine's Day. Thought it was so cute. It reminded me actually the colors of this reminded me of like stickers from back in the early 80s. I used to have a sticker book. Reminds me of stickers. I don't know why, but it did. Um, then I found this one again. It's sort of Valentine's Day themed, but I love those little trucks. Um, what else did we get? Oh, this one. I absolutely love. Look at this. Is that the cutest? Be yourself. And it's black on the inside. Be yourself. So cute. And then I got this for Jess for the coffee bar. It's a cute little sugar container. Good morning, Jess. Ooh, and it has a little spoon. Put it in. And I did actually throw the lid in here. See with the little notched out edge? Isn't that the cutest thing? Ah! So new addition to the coffee bar, guys. New addition. So excited. All right, so here we have feeling number one. It is the Folgers Vanilla Biscotti Coffee, which I love so much. Tablespoon of sugar-free International Delight Creamer. One packet of Sweet Leaf Stevia. And the chocolate chip cookie. This is fueling number one. Can you believe it's fueling number two time already? All right, here we go. We are having the Mocha Blast Shake, and I'm going to show you how I make this. It's so simple, but believe it or not, I get asked on the daily at least 10 to 20 times a day, how do I make my shake so thick? So here's how I do it. So... Today, uh, with the Mocha Blast, I'm going to use water rather than the unsweetened almond milk because I'm saving that for my strawberry shakes. Uh, so, Mocha Blast shake. So, what I have here is a pitcher of filtered water. And this is, I think, like the smaller size or the medium size Nutribullet cup. You see the max fill line? I'm going to fill the water halfway up. Okay, about halfway up, I'm gonna add the fueling. So the fueling goes in. And then I'm gonna add ice all the way up to that max fill line. So let me get you let me get some ice and I'll be right back. Alright, so adding the ice. Still need a little bit more. And a second handful. Alright, it's actually above the fill line. Then we cover it, we put it on the base, and we will have a straw test pass shake. Here we go. Put it on. Okay, here's my shake. Let's open it up. Oh yeah. Now what I like to do is shake off whatever's in the top. And then these are the straws that I buy, smoothie straws from the grocery store. And I just pick one out, whichever one my nail goes into. <laughs> and then I like to just stir it real quick like that just to get everything blended. Oh, look at that. We are certified passing the straw test. And that's how I make my shakes, guys. It's that simple. It's just a matter of using quite a bit of ice. So I'm gonna have this as fueling too, and I'll see you in a little bit. Wow, this is fueling number three, and I think it came out amazing. <laughs> so I made an Optavia pretzel, and I added um, a little bit of Dijon mustard on the side. This is a sour cream and onion mashed potato fueling. 
uh, added one egg white and one tablespoon of water, cooked it in my air fryer at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes, flipped it over halfway, and I'm gonna try this. And I let it sit for a while so that it would kind of get crunchy, but it reminds me of one of those New York City pretzels. So let's try it. Here we go. Sorry, I look like hell. It's one of those days, guys. So here, pretzel and mustard. This is so great. Guys, here's the secret. Cook it in your air fryer, let it cool off. And when it's fully cool, it definitely comes off like one of those New York City pretzel cart pretzels. And the Dijon mustard, if you like mustard on your pretzel, this is a winner. Try it. See it the next feeling. All right, guys. Well, we are going to be bringing Paisley to the vet. Paisley, over the course of the last couple of days, uh, we found that she was nipping at her back. And upon further investigation, we noticed that she had, it looked like a very small... I don't, it wasn't a bite, but it looked like she may have scratched it or what have you. We do obviously a lot of hiking in the woods. So we were thinking maybe something scratched her. And then um, yesterday we noticed that it looked a lot worse. And so we put some antibiotic ointment on it. We called the vet. We have an appointment uh, later today. So we will be bringing her to get that checked out. Um, so my poor Paisel, this poor dog has been through in her short five years of life, <laughs> two, three surgeries, uh, all kinds of stuff. Um, she's just, you know, she's a very healthy dog, but she's like so active that she gets into a little bit of mischief sometimes. Um, not so much in the house, but outside. She loves to explore and she's like a bull in a china shop. So um, we'll see. I don't know if she got, like I said, like a stick, a branch in the woods got her or what, but I just wanna make sure it's not a bite, it's not something else, and I sure as hell don't want it uh, infected. But she seems like she's fine. Um, it's just a worried mommy. So. That's what we're gonna do for her later on today. Uh, Miss Molly is perfectly fine as per usual. For a dog that's almost 11, she is just perfectly healthy. Are you gonna go get checked? You gonna see the doctor? Yeah, we're gonna check your boo-boo. <laughs> Such a sweet girl. Yes, you are. Say hi, everybody. All right, so we just finished seeing the doggy doctor. And Paisley's on antibiotics right now for 14 days, two weeks. Uh, they said that she has a little bit of an infection and it was nothing serious. And that uh, the fact that we were doing bacitracin and cleaning that wound over the last couple of days um, until this appointment was available, we did a really good thing. So hallelujah, thank God. So while we were there, she got her uh, rabies shot, which she was due for. She got her lepto shot, which is wonderful for dogs that do a lot of hiking and they're out in the woods. Um, so we are up to date on everything and she's doing well. They shaved her back to see, you know, that area. So she's got like a big bald patch on her back by her butt. So cute. But she didn't flinch and she just, as always, Paisley, kissing up that doctor, licking him, giving the paw. She's so good. I wish I could have filmed in there. You guys would have died. She was so cute. I just totally forgot to film this. I had my next feeling, which was the drizzled fudge bar. So good. Have my water with me. And I'm heading home. I'm going to be making um, a yummy lean and green. So... The next time I see you, we will be in the kitchen. See you in a little bit. Somebody deserves a puppuccino. You were so good at that. Yes, you were. <laughs> Optavia, not approved. I but that's you okay. You, you do drive. deserve it. Yes, do you, you do. I'm Thank you. Oh. Paisley loves Starbucks puppuccinos. Basically, it's just whipped cream, and they're called puppuccinos because they're made for dogs. Look at that white mustache. <laughs>
Alrighty, so it's lean and green time. So we have some white meat chicken tenders from Trader Joe's. We have uh, some soy sauce and organic Dijon mustard. And we're gonna be mixing these two seasonings up to make some kind of Asian type sauce. Uh, pour it over the chicken and I just greased up my um, air fryer with some cooking spray and we're gonna get started on our lean and green. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. All right, in this bowl is the Dijon mustard and some soy sauce, and I'm mixing it up really, really well. And uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of ginger to this, and then we're gonna pour it over the chicken. Um, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. out of the air fryer i have my sales scale set well nope just went off we're gonna turn it on and we get six ounces of chicken so on top of my cauliflower rice and my little bit of feta cheese we're gonna weigh out six ounces and right here is four ounces a little over six so I'm going to cut a little bit off and that is lean and green. So let's take a bite. All right, let's do the taste test. Oh, that's good. <laughs> the combination with the Dijon and the soy makes it definitely like that Asian type flavor glaze. With the ginger in there, I didn't have fresh, so I used, you know, the spice ginger. That is outstanding. I almost wish I had a little bit of that mixture to pour over the cauliflower rice, but I want to keep the sodium down, so that is lean and green. Look at that. That's a lot of food. So delicious. I can't get over it. Mmm. 400 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes. I flipped them halfway through. Mm. Try this and let me know in the comments if you do because you will love it. All right, guys, we're at the end of the night. I'm going to do some cinnamon sticks for uh, my last fueling. Usually I end it with a shake, but kind of feeling these. So that has been a full day of eating. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try my pretzel recipe. And the chicken recipe. You got two in one this video. Hope you enjoy it. And as I always say, we can do this. Yes, we can. As long as we do it together. Have a great night, guys.